I thought my next career was going to be producing, television producing, because I'd done quite a lot of television by then. Uh, and I started to put together these children's series. But I... I, you know, I just sort of fell into working on the script, you know, initially is in a way almost like a script editor. And then someone said, well, why don't you have a, a go at it? And I, and I wrote the script of Little Lord Fauntleroy. And then um, Anna Hume, who'd been my great sort of patroness and starter offer, uh, left and went off to something else. And, and I started writing adult film scripts. Uh, I mean, not adult film scripts, they're sort of for adults, you know. And, um, and none of them got made. And, and initially I wasn't paid. And then uh, eventually I started being paid, but they still weren't getting made. Uh, and then I had this thing when Bob Balaban, I'd written one of the uh, unpaid scripts for him. It was a sort of um, adaptation of an Anthony Trollope novel. And it was because of that Trollope script, which was never made, that he thought of me when he was trying to put together this Robert Altman, uh, kind of Altman-esque version of the country house murder mystery. You know, he used to sort of take a form and invert it and make it different and so on. And then, of course, the film got made and, and uh, it became Gosford Park and, and uh, eventually I won the Oscar for it. And, uh, you know, that did change things. I mean, you can't, you know, you can't say any different. It changed things and I was this writer in films. I mean, I would say more generically that I was influenced by television rather than pulling out, you know, Foresight Saga or Sex in the City. I mean, it's, there have been lots of great shows, and, and, and I like them. I think what's very key at the beginning is just to try and get someone to do something you've written. So it's not like a dream. And for that, I always think uh, the fringe theatres, some of the experimental theatre, the pub theatres. Oh, well, they are fringe, aren't they? But, uh, you know, modest places where they will possibly take a chance on someone new. Radio. Radio is a great medium because it's, uh, you know, it's an epic medium. But they will let new writers through. There's not a huge sum of money riding on every show, you know. And a lot of the radio producers, I think, are very imaginative and open to new talent. One of the difficulties when you're a writer or an actor and you're not working or you're not being paid to work, and people say, oh, what do you do? And you say, oh, I'm a writer. There's a kind of voice in your head that says, liar, you know, and you want to get past that. You want to say, I am a writer and mean it and feel it. And I think when you are writing novels, it means you've got to get something published. And when you're writing plays or screenplays, it means you want to get something produced. And, uh, you know, I don't think you can work too hard to bring that about, really. Uh, I mean, it sounds harsh, and I, I know how difficult it is. I really do. But, you know, you must never be too good for the industry. And if the job you're offered is to write an episode of some whatever, I think do it. Some, some people would say, oh, no, you must wait until it comes on your own time. And, you know, who knows? Maybe they're right. But for me, I say do it.